Richards Kell, great to see you again, my friend. Lots of emails for us to get into. Uh, good evening. Now, Kell, uh, this comes from Stephen. He says, I'm writing to an iconic wordsmith about an iconic word, hoping you can answer my iconic question. Who can I blame for the current ubiquitous use of iconic? I can actually tell you who you can blame. You can blame Newsweek magazine. When the word came into English in the 1600s, it meant the portrait of a saint. Uh, but then in 1976, the journalist at Newsweek dreamt up this idea of calling an important and prominent person iconic. They did it, so blame the journalist at Newsweek. They dreamt it up. Gee, there's some modern word history for us. Now, another emailer, uh, Roz, says, bi-monthly, Kel, can we please help settle this? Does that mean bi-weekly, every second week or twice every week? Uh, the answer, Steve, is no one knows. So I have some really helpful advice. Never, <laughs> ever use these words, right? Because no one knows. The, the Oxford says, for example, that bi-weekly means twice a week, but bi-annual means every second year. Bi-monthly either means twice a month or every second month. So if the Oxford is confused, everyone's confused. So really good advice from Uncle Kel. Never, never, never use the cursed bi-words. You'll, ne you'll never see it in a column written by me ever again. Uh, genocide, very serious word. What does genocide mean? That pops up all the time these days, sadly. Coined in 1944 to describe what happened to the Jewish people in the Second World War under the Nazis, uh, it means the deliberate murder of a whole race or group of people. So that when the protesters uh, say that, you know, Israel is guilty of genocide in Gaza, they are clearly wrong. Israel is there fighting to find and free hostages not to kill a whole race of people or a whole group of people. Now, whether the protesters are Correct. lying Correct. or whether they're ignorant, I just don't know. But it's a very young, wrong use of the word. Perfectly explained, uh, Kel. Thank you. I'll speak to you next week.